I've recently been evaluating the speed of arithmetic operations in Python, and I stumbled upon something very strange. In my local version of Python, Python 3.10, x times x with integers is consistently 10 times faster than raising x to the power of 2. Now, it's no secret that Python has many quirks, but these are pretty simple expressions and mathematically identical. So as someone who enjoys exploring micro-optimizations, I had to know, why does this happen? Alright, so the first thing we can do in order to understand the speed difference is to look at the bytecode of the two expressions. Bytecode is essentially the set of lower level instructions that the Python interpreter executes when it runs a program. And fortunately, there's a package called dist that lets us inspect bytecode pretty easily. Now when we do this, you'll notice that x times x calls the binary multiply opcode, while x squared calls the binary power opcode. And that's really the only difference between the two. But these opcodes themselves aren't particularly informative, so we need to keep digging a bit deeper to figure out what's going on. When the interpreter executes arithmetic opcodes, it delegates calculations to a set of C functions within the C Python code base. And since we're dealing with integers, these functions are long mol for binary multiply and long pow for binary power. Let's look at these a bit more closely. So here I've pulled up the long mol function, and you'll find that it's relatively simple. It takes in two inputs, A and B, checks to make sure that these objects are integer types, and since we're multiplying single-digit integers, it also takes a special code path that multiplies the integer values directly and returns the result in a new Python integer object. This just goes to show that long mole is a pretty efficient function, so let's look at long pow. When we pull up this function, you'll notice that it's a lot longer and much more involved than long mole. It starts off by taking in the base, exponent, and modulus before doing the usual input type checks, memory management. It also handles a few special cases, but these aren't really relevant for our use case. And eventually, once we skip past all of these, we'll get to core exponentiation logic, and this is where the mystery starts to unravel. This code looks a bit confusing, but the comment mentions an algorithm called binary exponentiation. Let's walk through this a bit more visually to see what's going on. It first defines an accumulator variable, z, that's set to 1 and starts by looking at the leftmost bit of the exponent. It multiplies z by itself, and if this bit is a 1, it then multiplies z by the base. It does the same for the second bit, and continues doing so for every bit in b, and eventually z contains the answer. Now this algorithm is great since it's really fast for large exponents. Something like x to the 1000 only ends up doing about 36 multiplications instead of doing 1000. In fact, this algorithm has logarithmic time complexity in the size of the exponent. But there's a problem. If you have a small exponent such as 2, then you still end up doing 30 multiplications when you could instead just do 2. That's because we keep multiplying z by itself for every bit there is, and we're doing a lot of unnecessary work. This is what makes this algorithm really expensive for small exponents. But there's actually a pretty simple way to fix this. We could just take a shortcut and multiply out directly if the exponent is small, and only use binary exponentiation when the exponent is large. In fact, this is exactly what the Python core devs did after noticing this behavior themselves. In Python versions 3.11 and 3.12, this problem isn't there anymore. And that's because the core logic changed so that we multiply out the elements directly when we have a small exponent, which means that x squared is just as fast as x times x. 